Why I lie? She know my chicken right, she call me pop pop. Right. Long as a high rise, my stroke make a cha cha. I don't wanna be a player, I just wanna fuck a lot. Bitches think I'm paying their bills, know the fuck I'm not. Ayo with the handgun, 14 and 1. Oh. Get my hands on some real money, I'm a big I ain't surprised. All Rap Kind Podcast. Powered by Street Rap TV. It's your boy Dub, the best kept secret. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Shout out to everybody that's tuning in to every single episode. 1 to 15 out right now on YouTube. You know, salute to all the special guests that have been on the podcast thus far. Yeah, man. I just got some updates for y'all. And um, I want to know if y'all see what the fuck I see out here that's going on. I don't know if y'all noticed, but this nigga Alpo. This nigga Alpo, you know, the boy from Peyton Fool, you know. He been home for like a year, you know. Nigga, nigga got out the feds, came home. They just leaked a little, a little preview of this interview, and um, this guy. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. Leave, leave comments in the in the comment section. This guy comes home from jail, gets the interview done, and goes to the place where he kids where he killed Mitch. Now. My thing is this, bro. You killed your homie, bro. Even if it was over a disagreement, right? You killed your fucking... You killed somebody you was getting money with. Somebody that you would kill for. Somebody that would kill for you. That nigga never harmed your life. You harmed his life. And I don't want to get too touchy in the detail about, you know, shit like that. But it's all related. What make you think that man family, you know, granted, I don't know if Mitch had kids. I don't know if he had a baby mom, but I know Mitch had a mother. I know Mitch was born from his from his mother and father. I know he probably had a sister, a brother, cousins, grandmom, granddad, you know, cousins. That seen that fucking interview, bro. You ain't got no fucking type of honor, bro. You don't think that shit affected their family members just for you to... Put that interview out there Just to do that Fuck whoever put the interview out Cause that's clout chasing period Y'all niggas did that just to clout chase man Y'all niggas wasn't even supposed to go around that man Bad enough He walking around Harlem He going to shows He getting saluted he, He's being seen out in public He's going back to Harlem Chilling in the hood My nigga once a rat always a rat You gotta know them niggas is Gotta be extinct They gotta get killed bro They gotta be dealt with man if they can't be killed, just leave them motherfuckers alone. You got to leave them type of guys alone, man. We was taught in school, man. We was taught by our parents. Don't tattletale, man. Don't tell, man. If something ain't right, keep your fucking mouth shut. You ain't got nothing nice to say. Just be quiet. So my thing is, even if they did that interview a year ago, what made him so comfortable to hop in that car and be like, yeah, man, this this where I killed Mitch at. You know, we, we did this, that, and the third tweet. And, and, and yeah, man, we had to get off the road, so we had to go here and dump the butt. What? Bro, it's bad. At, bro, you already said this shit over the jail phone, though. Why are you justifying it again? Why are you opening up old wounds, bro? Motherfucking families is just, it's just getting old. They getting over that shit, bro. And now they got to they gotta relive that shit by hearing your bitch ass talk. Hearing your nut ass talk. Seeing your nut ass in the flesh. Bro, you should have just stayed quiet. Them motherfuckers, I'm pretty sure they got you in protective custody and shit. You coming out of a penthouse. I don't give a fuck how you living. My thing is, you shouldn't be doing that shit, period, bro. So let me know how y'all feel about that whole Alpo situation. He spoke he been home accordingly for probably like a year now. Um, yeah, usually I do the podcast with a with a guest, but you know it's early morning. You know, niggas is on their way to work. I just got done dropping off my client and shit like that. Um, and I just wanted to speak on this shit because it was bothering me. Like I looked at the interview, I was just like, yo, bro, like type time this nigga on, bro. Remember, he ain't go out as no solid nigga, bro. It don't matter how many murders you got, how many niggas you killed, how much solid shit you did in these streets, how much money you was getting. Once you told, you told, nigga. That's your honor. It's, it's, it's gone. There's no more coming back. So my thing is, why are y'all even justifying to letting this man talk, bro? 
He shouldn't be able to talk. Just like these rappers, bro. Once you rap, your raps is not violent, bro. Your street cred is not violent, bro. We snatched that shit away from you. That shit is gone, bro. So, you know, let me know how y'all feel about the Alpo situation. I'm not going to keep going in on that situation and shit. I don't even like mentioning rats and shit like that. But I just felt like that's something that needed to be, that needed to be spoke upon. Um, talk about this OBA situation, too, with AR Ad, man. Um, I've been seeing it floating around on the internet. You know, he had court this, this week. He had trial. He actually has trial. He's in trial right now. Um, I see that four of his co-defendants on the case took a plea bargain and word on the street is five people still remaining, five people still standing tall. Salute to them, salute to the men. Um, and there's also breaking news that they have a fucking, they have a fucking witness, a nigga that's testifying and he used to be affiliated with OBH. I don't know, damn, this damn fucking pothole, bro. We in Philly, I'm sorry, y'all, look at this shit. Philly potholes. That's that's why the mechanics, that's why the shops always stay open, man. They don't fix up these potholes in these in these streets and shit so we can keep going to the mechanics so we could just keep spending our money and shit and wasting our money and shit. That's why I don't fix up the streets. But back to the get back. Um Yeah, man, they saying that somebody that's affiliated with OBH is is is, is a witness and and they testifying, man. So let me know how y'all feel about that. And keep your head up, OBH. Um, all the men, you know, keep your head up. Um, I know on the gram I saw a couple of Leak Moss posts. Salute to Leak Moss. He was saying that um, I think the first day of trial wasn't a lot of people that 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 was that came out and support him and stuff like that. Now, correct me if I'm if I'm right or wrong, but I only been in county. I got I got folks that been upstate, and I got a couple a couple of my bros right now that's locked up in the feds. I'm not their cousin, I'm not their brother, so I can't go and visit them. So, is it any different when it comes to federal court? Are, are the supporters us allowed to go to federal courts? Let me know in the comment section um, if I'm right or wrong, if y'all know, because I, I, don't, I don't know the answer to that question. That's why I want to ask y'all. But yeah, that's, the, that's basically the update on that. If I get any more news on the OBA situation, um, I'll let y'all know. As y'all can see, I don't. I really don't have no problem talking about the things that these people in Philadelphia are scared to talk about. The fuck y'all gonna do? Blackball me, bro? From from word of mouth or from what I heard? What the fuck? Niggas blackball me if y'all want. Nigga don't like my music anyway. What you gonna do? You can't please everybody. I learned that with Street Rap TV. Shout out to everybody that's following Street Rap TV. All the artists as as. Y'all can see it used to be Philly Street Rap. Um, we've been holding down the city of Philadelphia for three years, just posting up raw talent from, from, from the younger cats, from the younger generation to the older generation. And I believe in, I believe in, I wanna say August, no, I wanna say in September. Is it September? I think, I believe it was September. I know I was in one of these states. I came back from Kansas, Street Rap TV was still up and running. Okay, came back from Atlanta. All right, I went out of Atlanta in September. And when I came back, Street Rap TV, um, it was deleted. It was deleted at 25K followers. And I'm just thinking like, Instagram, what's up with these guidelines, bro? What's up with these guidelines? What's up with these Instagram guidelines? Nobody gonna talk about it? Nobody going to speak on it? Bro, I put up a post on Instagram on the new Street Rap page. It's Street Rap underscore. Y'all can follow it if you're an artist, if you try and get on the platform. If your homie don't push your music, come to me. I'm Street Rap TV. I'll post your music. Either for free or, you know, you could cut a little check. I don't do no donations and shit like that. But if you feel like I'm worth your time of promoting you and shit, I ain't got no problem promoting your shit. But... Let me get back to Instagram with these guidelines. So I put up a post as some rappers who got bars. In my caption, I vividly stated, tag an artist that's hot, female or male. Instagram guidelines, Instagram removes my post. 
How the fuck y'all removed my post? All I asked was, all I asked was, who was hot? Who had bars? You know what they said in the post? When they removed it, they said, illegal substance, asking for Xanax. Nigga, what you talking about? So, it's either one or two things that be happening. This is why I don't, I don't be respecting these internet motherfuckers either, man. Either one, somebody reposted the post, like somebody reported the post, or two, Instagram just removed it, a flag it. I feel like that's what they did with the street rap page. I'm going to give y'all motherfuckers the benefit of the doubt. Because I know y'all hate me, but you don't take down. If, if one of y'all, if I find out one of y'all motherfuckers removed street rap TV, I'm putting y'all on blast, man. It ain't no way in the world that... I'm supporting Philadelphia, I'm supporting Atlanta, I'm supporting Louisiana, I'm supporting all these states and all these artists that people in my city never seen before and need the exposure and y'all motherfuckers remove that shit. And I'm not biased. You got most platforms on this joint, on, on Instagram that's biased, they won't even put you up. I'm putting up Bobby, Ricky, Sammy, Uncle Johnny, I'm putting up Fucking, it don't matter who it is. I don't give a fuck if you were smoking, you hot. I'm putting you up. Why would you want to tarnish that? Come on, man. Help us get back to where we belong, man. Stop reporting shit. That shit corny, man. Instagram. Instagram. I told y'all before. Please, I need y'all to make, I need y'all to make it private. Somebody just make a page where as though we can see. Let me see if I can make this like, I ain't make it. No cops behind me and shit. You know, I'm out. I'm out. If y'all can see in my background, I'm out yeating right now. I'm fluent. I'm going back to my hood right now. I'm going back to Southwest. But Instagram, I want one of y'all. I want Instagram to make. Let us hold it. Let us let us see who fucking telling, bro. Let us see who fucking is is making the is is is, is, is cyber snitching, bro. Let us know who cyber snitching. Y'all y'all display everything else on Instagram. I want to know who the fuck be reporting shit and spamming shit and and it ain't no way in the world a nigga work hard and they y'all started y'all seen them niggas start from zero followers and they got 20k followers 100k followers and then they they pages get removed think about it they don't never put up nothing bad either because i know some people like rappers comedians i done seen a lot of people pages get flagged or removed this year and i'm thinking like damn bro all these niggas that's that's they hate that real no, Instagram, y'all need to start exposing these motherfuckers, bro. Niggas just don't be telling on the street. They be telling online, too. So put that shit the fuck up. Put that shit up, Instagram. You want to be a real nigga? Whoever behind the, the, the account, put that shit up. Whoever running this this this, this fucking billion-dollar business, put that shit up. This shit, this shit like crack, bro. This shit powerful, Instagram. No, niggas not even watching TV no more. Everybody on their phone. Your phone is the TV now. Instagram TV. Motherfuckers trying to keep up with each other. They trying to compete. You know what I'm saying? That bitch buy Gucci. That bitch got to buy Gucci. She can't even afford it, but she going to go and get it. Then she get the knockoff joint at, at that and try to make it look real just because she got a nice body. So, yeah, man, this shit TV. This is all about broadcasting. This shit about entertainment. I understand that, but what you not going to do is Instagram. I see, I see one profile that posts the same content as I, and you remove my shit. Be fair, bro. You got to be around the board with that shit, man. I don't like y'all niggas that keep doing that, man. Like I said, follow Street Rap at Street Rap TV underscore. If you're an artist, man, and I'll throw you up, no matter what state you're from. You know what I'm saying? Philly Street Rap, you know, we had a run. That shit was running for like two, two years and a half. But I decided to change the name while I was out Puerto Rico because I didn't want to limit myself to just being to being local. If you look at World Star, it's not like a uh, fucking New York World, World Star. No, nigga, World Star not just doing it for New York. That shit is doing it for the world. You know what I'm saying? You don't see uh, no jumper or you don't see certain platforms that just got their city attached to it. No, I want this shit for everybody, man. I want to spread the motherfucking love. You feel me? So let's let's get this shit right, man. Um, also, Philly Street Rap Volume 2. Um, Philly Street Rap Volume 2 will be on platforms next Friday, November 15th. That's coming. For all the artists in Philadelphia, DM me. Lock in right now and the cover art is 
actually 